I've used countless note-taking apps over the years, including a ton of time and energy spent in Evernote and Notion. But about five years ago or so, I started using Obsidian, and that quickly became my main note-taking app and digital notebook. Obsidian is extremely useful in a lot of ways for me. I'll write quick notes, capture ideas, thoughts. I'll take notes on books and articles I'm reading. I'll take notes on videos and tutorials I'm watching. For example, right now I'm taking the class Making Your First Zine from Idea to Illustration by Kate Bigham and Burt on Skillshare, which is sponsoring this video. And I'm taking notes in Obsidian as I go. No one um, gave them permission to make this. They gave themselves permission to make this and distribute it and share it with people. And so I think that's really the key. Where this class is one of the many zine and publishing related classes I'm taking on Skillshare right now. Skillshare is an invaluable resource for creatives to expand their knowledge in a new area or sharpen skills in other areas. You can learn about some of the apps I talk about on this channel like Inkscape and Caden Live, for example. Skillshare has thousands of classes in areas of illustration, design, animation, film, photography, and more. The first 500 people to use my link in the description will receive a one month free trial of Skillshare. Get started today. Last year and part of this year, I left Obsidian for a bit to explore what a Vim only note-taking and digital note system digital notebook system would be like for me. I love Vim and I love my Vim note-taking system, but I've decided to return to Obsidian for my digital notebook. Although the Obsidian app itself is not open source, I feel that the app and the team behind the app are strong allies to the Linux community and to the FOSS movement in general. I love all the features of Obsidian, but there's really one killer feature that brought me back to the app that I'll talk about in a minute after I list a few of the favorite features that I love about Obsidian. So one of the biggest things I love about Obsidian is that the files are mine in every way. Not only are they locally stored by default, unless you set up a syncing service, whether it's through a third party service or if you use Obsidian's syncing service that they offer, the files are still yours. At any time you can take the files away from Obsidian to another app go back to Vim or whatever. They're not hidden behind some sort of database or whatnot. They're always visible. You can always look at the individual files, pull one out, pull all of them out, do what you want with them. They're always yours. Always yours to access and to edit in any app that you want. The fact that they're marked down by default is a Another bonus, I love Markdown files. I love the simplicity of Markdown. I love that it's ubiquitous and almost any text app can edit Markdown files. So the fact that the files are mine, the I have control of my files, that's huge. It sounds obvious, but it's not the case with every app. The flexible UI is another great thing. So with Obsidian, you can make it as minimal and simple as you want, or you could add features, turn on plugins, turn on features to make it as feature rich as you need it to be. So it can be Vim-like in simplicity, or it can be like Notion where you have tables and, and, and images and, and a whole bunch of things to make your world uh, exactly how you want it to be in Obsidian. The Obsidian community and the plugins that they create are amazing. So you have a lot of people creating plugins for the app alongside the native plugins that are built from the Obsidian team the community builds amazing plugins, which has expanded the capabilities of Obsidian beyond what I can even describe in, a, in, in this video. The community is also extremely helpful in terms of tutorials and videos and articles and, and, and whatnot. There are a ton of resources to learn how to make Obsidian work for you in whatever situation you're going to be using it in. Last but not least, one of the big things I love about Obsidian is the fact that they have Vim mode or Vim motions built in. You just have to toggle this feature on and you have the Vim motions that you're comfortable with. This should be default in almost every app that includes writing, but it's not quite yet. And I'm extremely grateful that it's in Obsidian. So the Vim motions, the Vim mode is one of my favorite features and I, it's on all the time for me. Now, there may be other apps that have all those features or some of them but if you include this next feature I'm going to talk about, I don't know of any other app that includes 
all these things put together in the way that Obsidian presents them. So the killer feature that Obsidian has that brought me back to using it is the canvas feature. An Obsidian canvas is an infinite blank space to create mind maps, diagrams, collect visual references, notes, and links them all however you want. You can embed your notes alongside images, PDFs, videos, audio, and more. It's really an awesome feature. So mixing images and text and whiteboard type features is nothing new. There are apps out there that do this, but this one checks a lot of specific boxes for me that are hard to find. One, it's Linux friendly. Two, it's built into the note-taking app and digital notebook that I'm already using. So being able to gather visual references of inspiration for ideas or projects I'm working on and pull in notes or thoughts directly into that whiteboard space, so to speak, is invaluable to me. I know we complain about bloated software a lot, but to have this feature built into my digital notebook is a game changer. And I realized when I left, I, I was using starting to use Canvas just enough that I started to look for alternatives to this feature. I thought, well, I, I'll replace, Vim replaces my, the text editing, the writing portion of Obsidian. I just need to find something that replaces the Canvas feature and I'm good to go. And there are some web-based options out there but there are no desktop first applications that worked for me at least. I'm still searching, but right now Obsidian is the best option for this canvas feature or whiteboard type feature. Not only is the Obsidian implementation of the canvas feature amazing, but really the icing on the cake for this and the reason why I feel comfortable returning to Obsidian and the reason I'm making this video because I feel it's really important to celebrate and reward and talk about companies that contribute to the open source world. And like I said, even though Obsidian is not open source, this file format that they use for Canvas is open source. They created it and they've made it open source. So any app developer can take this feature and implement it into their own app. So the hope is that this file format becomes as ubiquitous as Markdown, or at least as po you know as much as possible. And that would not be possible if they didn't make it open source. So that action alone is huge to me. And I see a bright future for this file format. They are already starting to see some samples of what it can do with an Obsidian and with some of the web apps that people are, are, are creating. So although the apps and services that are using this JSON canvas file format, which is what the file is called, is small. The feature is extremely bright and I can only see, you know, a lot of great things happening with this file format going forward. If you're in the creative world, if you're a designer, photographer, video editor, digital artist in general, you need you you need and want visual based tools. Like having it having a, a text only terminal based app is great, but um, I'm a visual guy and I'm, I'm working in visual arts. And so having tools that allow me to work visually, mixing pictures and images and video, you know, pictures and video and PDFs and stuff together is awesome. And having this tool on Linux to be able to uh, brainstorm and whiteboard and gather references and inspiration all on this app that's available on all my devices is amazing. So along with the other apps that I cover on this channel, I'm going to revisit Obsidian relatively regularly to show you how I'm using all the standard Obsidian features, but also this Canvas feature. I want to continue to explore Obsidian and this feature to see what else I can do with it and maybe give you some ideas on how it could be useful for you. So I encourage you to check out Obsidian, support all apps and teams that are doing good for the open source community and i appreciate every one of you for watching liking subscribing and sharing as always and i will talk to you soon